Okay, now that you, I showed you how to put your note card into the uh, printer, then now we want to port, uh, format your document so that it'll print out in note card or uh, file card form. So up at the top, you've got your tabs, file, home, insert, page layout. So click on page layout right up there. First thing you want to do is pick size. And so pick the size of the card that you chose. If it was four and a half, four by six, you'd pick that. If it's three by five, you would pick that. I went with four by six. Then orientation. And it depends on which version you're using, how these will appear on your screen, but it's the same things. So orientation, you want to pick landscape. Okay, so now you're going to want to you don't want to see there's a lot of margin on the sides that defaults to one inch. You don't want that much. So you're going to go all the way down to custom margins. Pick point two on the top, point two on the left. On the bottom, pick point one two. And that's the minimum margin you can have on the bottom. And that's because we want to have a page number down there. So we want that one to come down lower. And then on the right, pick point two. Click OK. OK, so now we've got OK. So now, see how they've got just very little room around point two all the way around. But you're going to want a page number on these in case you drop these. You're not going to want to figure out where they go. You can either put a page number in handwriting at the bottom around here if you want which will give you more room on the card, or the other option is go up to insert, hit insert, go find where it says insert, it says page number, click on that, go down to where it says bottom of the page, go over here, and let's put it a uh, plain number two, which is in the center. Now when you, when you click on that, it's gonna show the, the numbers barely and then the one's going to be blinking, and it shows these dotted lines for the footer and header. Put your cursor in the center and double click on the center, and it gets rid of those. Okay, so now you can see it's taken a lot of room from the bottom because it puts a margin for the header for the footer down there. And so, like I said, you can either write it down at the bottom, and then you get rid of this page number taking up so much room, or you can just put the page numbers in. It'll print out the page numbers when you do it. Either way, it doesn't matter to me. You just lose a lot of space when you put the page number. You're going to want the page number on there one way or the other. So I'll back up and show you what it looked like before we did that. Uh, I don't know why it went all the way back there like that. but So we'll go back to the page layout and the margins. And the custom margin. Yeah, I, I clicked back too many. So if you're not going to put, if you're going to manually put the page numbers down there, then just go to point two on everything and click OK. And that's how it looks. So do you know now how to put them on if you, you're going to put the automatic page numbers on or if you're going to hand write them on, but you're definitely going to want them on there in case you drop your card. OK, so now you know how to install. You got to buy the file cards at the, the uh, bookstore. So now you know how to, to print them out. So you can do your notes however you want. You know, Remember, you can't read the whole thing, so you're going to want the notes, um, just notes on these things. You know, cut some of the words out and just have notes on them. All right, so that is the second part of it.